we're going to go and get our kayaks. Greg is going to take a double so that he can take Moxie because I think it's his turn to uh, chauffeur our dog around. And I get to have a single and be by myself, which will be lovely. So basically, we, we consider our dog to be like something that we have to schlep, right? <laughs> like she's just like a burden. <laughs> she's a burden that has to be schlepped around and we just kind of pass well, her from one of us to another. Well, she could swim alongside, but she's that's... She's a handful a when it comes to water sports, no question <laughs> about it. Hold on, Moxie, you wait, 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 wait. Okay, Moxie, get you going? You got it? Mm -hmm. Moxie, over here. Oops. Am I gonna have to help her? Over here, step here, good girl, over here. Good. Oh, Moxie, not good. Esto se llama la casa Tatín. Uh -huh. Después él le va a explicar todo y la finca está de allá. Uh -huh. Después cuando se organicen acá están tranquilos con su con el chucho y están tranquilos. Okay. Después van para allá y ven todo. Okay. okay. Perfecto. Nos vemos después. Muchas gracias. Okay, so what we've been told is it's on 110 volts solar power. So we're good. And, but there's electricity all day long. So we had one of those instances again where we had Moxie off leash here at the hotel and that cat showed up again. We've got this. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got this. This, this is, is like licking your vagina. This is a chain thing happening here. Oh my god, Moxie, look what's happening to you Moxie, from behind. Moxie really couldn't give a shit right now. Wow. I, I feel invaded on Moxie's behalf, but boy, she cannot be obliged to look away. They had a bit of a standoff, and then they both bolted. Normally, we don't have Moxie on leash in these places, so we normally have her, her e-collar on. And we don't love the e-collar for the stigma and the reputation that it has, but it's been a great tool for us to be able to allow her to stay off leash, especially in these types of places and when we're traveling. Because um, there had been times at the beginning when we didn't have it and we would stop at a place when we were on the bikes, Moxie would leap down and before we got a chance to put a leash on her, she would go bolting into the forest and Greg would have to go chasing after her and 10-15 minutes later he finally found her. So by having the e-collar on it allows us to give her some more freedom and it reinforces the commands again. So if she's bolting off, um, when we tell her to come, mox to come, um, and we, uh, we provide a vibration or a little shock for her, um, it does reinforce that she needs to come because we, we do notice that when she has an incident where she chases the cat and we have to give her a little shock to come back, um, she the next time when we say Moxie come, she is, is much more educated and will will follow her uh, follow the instructions. Hay una subida de aquí mismo a la izquierda hasta final. Ahí tenemos un, un gimnasio para hacer yoga, unos pesas, la bicicleta, un punching balls. Uh -huh. Qué guay. Se ven al muelle a la izquierda. Hay una sauna típica indígena. Oh. La sauna es encendido a las 5 cinco, cinco de la tarde. Oh, Entonces, cool. después, ya, sauna, tiras al río, sauna, río. Alright, so after an afternoon of listening to an audiobook and even napping a little bit, now we are headed over to the sauna, which is uh, the Temuscal. Hang out. Come here, Max. Max, you come. Now we got, we got Whitey back. So I just had my Temuscal experience. It was extremely hot. I came out, took a little swim, and then I'm resting. I sweated a lot, but it's very peaceful and rejuvenating. 
siguen caminando hasta el final van a ver kayaks, kayaks simples, kayaks dobles y los kayaks son buenos. Okay. Y si quieren usar el kayak, lo agarran y se van. Right, so we are all set to head out on the kayaks and just literally as we are packed up and sort of setting off we got a little drizzle. it's starting to drizzle so the rain has subsided this little sprinkle that we had and so now we are on our way we're gonna go and get our kayaks greg is going to take a double so that he can take moxie because i think it's his turn to uh chauffeur our dog around and i get to have a single and be by myself which will be lovely paddles are right here i think we sort of just Oh, they're here. They're oh, you already, already watered them, huh? Yeah. They're, they're hooked on. So basically, we, we consider our dog to be like something that we have to schlep, right? <laughs> like she's just like a burden. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that it's you, not me. Oh, there's two paddles in there. Oh, okay, one's for me, one's for you. Or two, because there's... Oh, I think he forgot yeah. that, that Moxie doesn't help. <laughs> Don't breathe on me, Max. You just slobbered on my back. She's a burden that has to be schlepped around, and we just kind of pass well, her from one she, of us to another. She can be. She could swim alongside, but she's that's a handful a, when it comes to water sports. No question about it. Yeah, she but gets, uh, uh, worked up and active. We will see what it's like of having her swim alongside, uh, <laughs> and if she's if she's up for it. And we're gonna go in. I think we're gonna go check out this. The, there's a hot spring and we'll see that first and see what other things there are to uh, look at. No, no, not even, Moxie. Not even. Go to Papa Bear. Come. And then you went to shore. Oh. Right. And now you gotta get her back up. And now I've come here to rescue you. <laughs> yeah, from your shipwreck. <laughs> While you're in the water? Really? That's what we're gonna do? Oh, don't eat that fish, Moxie. Don't eat that fish. Tell you a little bit about the Go Roughly Around the World adventure, supporting Girl Up. It's going to be an 18-month adventure across five continents where I'll be riding my motorcycle with Moxie on the back in her K9 moto cockpit. The fundraiser is to support Girl Up, which was founded by the United Nations Foundation, and their whole goal is to do leadership and development training for girls around the world. They work in over 120 countries and they have helped over 90,000 girls. 
The goal is to raise $100,000 for Girl Up during this adventure. So I really hope that you'll go to goroughly.com slash world dash adventure to donate today and help us reach that $100,000 goal. Yeah, Google Bear. it all up, you might get the whole river. Let's hook this uh, connects over there. So we just got stuck between the trees. We went through this nice little area here and um, the roots just came in and we just can't uh, pass anymore. So we're gonna turn around and then keep going on the main road. Main Riverway. See canoes passing in the mid morning. That's what I'm calling this one. Moxie, you don't need to. This is not a transfer service. Yvonne, yeah, don't you let her walk up the stairs here? Come here, Mox. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So this nice uh, guy Guillermo, who helped us uh, to dock our canoes, um, was just explaining that the reason for all these dead fish that we're seeing, these little white fish that are dead, all just belly up in the water, kind of everywhere you look, is because, not because apparently there's any real pollution or something, but because they're coming from the sea and then they get basically up into this area where the like sort of brackishness is no longer going on and now it's just like sweet water it's sweet fresh water. water it's clear fresh water we call it agua dulce and and they can't they can't be sustained in this they can't live in this uh they need the salt water so this is our hot spring this is where the hot water comes out okay i gotta get it I'm getting like burned on my legs. Well, you just, yeah, you gotta like find the right spot <laughs> where it's like warm but not. We gotta find a place for Moxie too because I think she needs to go. Moxie's busy watching Papa Bear. She doesn't like it when we're separated like this. With all of Moxie's in and outs of the kayak, it results in wet money. So we need to just let this dry a little bit. But whose fault is it? Hers. It's moving too much. Watch your camera, Greg. Watch your camera behind you. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Way back, she's always super calm. So nice. She's tuckered out. So it's 6.45 and we are getting ready to head out. Hopefully they will be able to take us a little bit earlier this morning. We said 7.30, but it turned out we were much earlier than expected. Our visit to Finca Tatin must now end because the road awaits mm -hmm. uh, and additional adventures, future adventures. Doesn't that sound so epic to say it like that? <laughs> we ended up being a lot earlier than expected, mainly because of Moxie's little incident last night where we left the door open. And I think that she heard at least my sense is that she heard me sort of move slightly. You know, it's one of those like really light, almost imperceptible noises, and it must have just woken her up and triggered her. Because the next thing we knew, uh, she was like barking and, and I mean, just going nuts. And then really shortly after that starts yelping in that like I've hurt myself way. She decided to go and run down here where these rocks are. And I have a feeling that when she jumped down, she she um, sliced her paw pad on one of those those volcanic rocks. So we took care of her for about like 15 minutes at like two in the morning. And then she's fine. She she didn't even really lick it. I cleaned it off pretty well. Good girl, go lay down. Good girl, lay down. Good girl, lay, lay down. down. <laughs> what a tough dog. Sorry, feel bad. And this morning it's already starting to close over, so uh, we're gonna be watching it this morning, especially with the movement that we're gonna have to do of jumping into the, the launches and, and being in town. Yeah, Marcy just 
Just jump yeah. on in there. So Moxie's whole wounded paw thing has turned into a lot of nothing. So we'll take a look at it, um, and then when we get to back to the bike, I'll be able to wash it properly, put some antiseptic on it, and then um, wrap it and so that nothing will get into it, especially when we're riding with the wind and everything. So that's going to be the plan for, for dealing with her little injury. Hold on, Moxie, wait, wait. All right, so we just pulled in, and... I don't know if we got lucky or... No, that's they arranged it. They goes. called. Oh, he called ahead. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. So we got um, a semi-private, I guess, right off the dock. get, like, red carpet treatment. Yeah, yeah red carpet treatment this yeah. morning. This is awesome. So the uh, parking lot uh, guys... Like saw us, I guess, yeah. and had their car here, yeah. and they're like, hop into the truck, and we'll take you the two blocks over to uh, the parking lot. I mean, okay, sure. You know, that's two blocks that uh, my hooves didn't have to didn't have to tread. No, fantastic. Uh, I just feel like everybody just kind of wants to help us out this morning, <laughs> make things go smoothly. I know, right? Wow. I wonder if there's going to be like a cosmic uh, rebalancing. When, you know, <laughs> get a blowout on the highway or some crazy thing. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. I've tried to be my own all in all and everything, but it's just been a hard and arduous thing. When I look back upon the life I have the choices I have made, what do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way, but when I give in, all life's good came running at me. With an open heart and mind and arms laid down, you are war and hate and arms let in, the light of day and let Jesus show the way that hey, I'm not Religious and unknown sense I can't stand the way that most priests Stop in the state church or elsewhere After having tried to decide Each time I had to make a choice About something worthwhile So we're not putting on her Reaper Rain Fly just yet Because it's been so hot out She's going to enjoy these okay. Now I take a pause and I take a breath and listen to them Then I know how to begin With a open heart and mind and arms laid down You're a war and hate and arms left in The light of day and let Jesus show the way But hey, I'm not religious and I'm no sense I can't stand the way the most priests in the state church or elsewhere. All right, so we've arrived at this finca that has like just like four or five cabanas in it, and they're all booked up, but they have camping, and it's in this nice, cool, sort of piney area. It's cool, it's pleasant, it's fresh smelling. Moxie, come, come. That's not your cabin. Moxie has already met the local Guardian dog, so uh, and he's telling us what he thinks of our presence. Um, but we're just waiting if they have to like register us because it's apparently like kind of a posh finca. It's glamping. It's glamping-ish with our own gear. So they're uh, registering us, and we're taking our stuff off the bikes, and we'll get situated. It is the morning of day final of the trip. 
Moxie has uh, joined and parted the seas here. Mm. So she's still a bit sleepy. She's just like a big fur ball right now. Mm -hmm. We had the sound of tapping rain all night long. Um, and actually we have evidence of that here. We love this tent, but this may well be a indication of a design flaw. Why it's cooling right there at the top. We've had a lot of rain this morning and it's going to be a really uh, wet ride to Coipa Farms. Um, so we're going to put the Reaper Rainfly on Moxie um, so that she can stay dry, especially from the passing trucks and things on this route. So this is going to be uh, a way to keep her protected from the raindrops and from the splash. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. How long, how long, how long did you wait for me? Okay, so we're at uh, this place called Caoba Farms, which is Antigua's version uh, of sort of a uh, farm to table. Um, really kind of cool place. You know what I have here? I have the remains of a latte. This is our first uh, latte or anything espresso based in how many days now? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Three weeks. Maybe. Three weeks. We are jacked up and wired right now. But it is, <laughs> it is like fantastic to be back in the black gold. All right, so we did really kind of lousy on our souvenir hunting in this trip because as per usual, we have our giant loop possible pouches that we purposefully put on the outside of the cockpit for uh, souvenirs. They're just like extra luggage on a moto trip, which is practically unheard of. So, um, here at the very end, we do have uh, some souvenirs that just, just got at the Coba Farms Market. For you, I got extra hot wild Tabasco and olive oil. Look at that, all that nice. I got a cilantro dressing for salad. Cool. And then for me, they sell seeds. Good. I got uh, cilantro seeds because all the cilantro that I planted that I had didn't didn't grow. So I got these cilantro seeds that are actually um, they're the Criollo version, so they're the ones from here, and it's uh, from Pachutul. And uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna do good for me. And Jess, you already described what they are, so I'm okay. just gonna flick that back in. Goes into our possibles pouch. And it doesn't fit. Hold on. Sad that the trip is coming to an end, but I am really excited that uh, that we are going home. There's a lot to look forward to there. So, um, signing off. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you're home. Wait. Okay, stay. Wait, stay. She has never been this excited.
excited. Yeah, I'm Moxie. <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. You've probably noticed that when there are difficult off-road sections, Greg rides my bike through it as well. And you know, in the past it didn't really bother me because you know, I was enjoying just riding and it was enough like having Moxie on the back of my bike uh, to focus on. So it wasn't really a challenge that I, I wanted to take on. But in these more recent trips that we've done, I've noticed that I've wanted to go to some places that are sort of off the beaten path. And here in Guatemala, off the beaten path means that it's going to be off road. And yes, it's been still been a struggle for me, but I've gotten better at it. Um, the more I do it, obviously, like anything, the more practice you have, the better you're going to get at it and the more you're going to enjoy it. And it's a challenge that I'm ready to take on. The Go Roughly Around the World adventure starts on March 5th. so. There's going to be no way to get around certain areas. There's going to be off-road that I'm going to have to do. And I can still let Moxie jump off and she can run alongside and, and I can ride the section. But I know that there's going to be times where we're just going to have to do it together when it's really long. And I feel like I'm getting better. It's just, it's going to take some time and continual practice. But I think that if you guys follow along with my progress, you're going to see that I'm going to be doing better uh, because it's something that I really want. And I really love the places that it allows us to go. Um, I've been watching Itchy Boots on YouTube and she likes to go off road all the time and she finds really cool places. And that's exactly the type of thing that I want to do. Not all the time, but in certain times when there's something worth seeing, I want to be able to feel comfortable to do it. So the trip is starting in Guatemala, so we'll be riding through Guatemala and Mexico. So there's going to be plenty of opportunities for me to practice. And especially in the States where we haven't really had uh, a lot of time to ride around. So we're going to want to go off the beaten path there as well. So it's going to be a good practice for me, especially uh, during this time before we head over to Africa where um, the road might just be off-road only and there might be no paved road. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm anxious, but I'm excited and I hope it all works out and that you'll follow along with my progress. Thanks for watching guys.